Hey guys, 22 Flinkster here. This is a little bit different video than I usually make. One, it's nighttime. Two, I've got a thermal optic. And I guess probably about five or six years ago, I was really turned on to thermal hunting. I spent a lot of my time in Texas, more specifically South Texas, where you can do a lot of thermal hunting, you know, for jackrabbits and um, for coyotes and bobcats and things of that nature. And up until this year, which I live in Tennessee, up until this year, you couldn't hunt with thermals, okay? You couldn't even have them on your possession while big game hunting. So Tennessee has recently changed that law that you can use thermals for hunting coyotes, but it's a small season and you must use a shotgun. Of course, on here, we got it mounted on a rifle. Here recently, I took a trip out west to try out this new ATN Thor 5 XD thermal scope and tried it out in the field a little bit. They sent it to me to do a review and I like to thermal hunt, especially for predators. So I got to really know this thermal. <laughs> Spent several nights up until probably eight o'clock in the evening to two o'clock in the morning, uh, trying it out, looking at a wide range of animals, deer, coyotes, and uh, raccoons. So if you don't wanna see those predators get shot, you can turn off the video right now. But before we go to the hunting stuff, I gotta go over some of the features on this optic. There are a lot of new thermals on the market. And if you've ever priced them, they are quite expensive. However, they're coming down. Um, past couple of years, you know, you could buy a thermal with like one fourth the resolution of this, and it would be just as much as this optic right now. The Thor 5 XD boasts that it has the largest sensor of any thermal out there. And what that does is allow you to get actually a million megapixels more in this digital screen than its competitor. Now, I've never counted the megapixels, so I'm just gonna take their word for them. But while hunting with it, I noticed that it's very sharp, very clear. Now, it does have a digital zoom, so once you start zooming out farther and farther and farther, um, the, the picture kind of gets a little pixelated. Um, but if you stay within probably 13 power and under, um, it does go all the way out to 30 power, but if you stay about 13 power and under, the image is still really sharp and clear. And the problem with people buying thermal scopes is this if you if you buy a less expensive thermal scope sometimes you can't see or make out exactly what you're going to be shooting at and that can be very dangerous and that's one big reason why they outlawed them years ago in tennessee for big game hunting and coyote hunting they never had them legal for big game hunting but for like varmints raccoons and also um, for coyotes it's because you really couldn't tell what you were shooting at now with the resolution of this bad boy. I think the resolution is uh, 1280 by 1024. That is a lot of resolution. Most uh, thermals on the market are 640 resolution. So this is actually twice of what most of the leading competitors are. Okay, so in the front of the scope right here, you have an adjustment for your focus. Now what this focus will do is focus in on the letters, numbers, the compass, everything um, that you're seeing with that digital screen. Your rear focus right here, that actually adjusts the focus on your target downrange. So once you get this set, you're good to go. But this right here, sometimes you have to do some adjusting. There are so many features on this particular model. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is the Thor 5XD. This is also the LRF model that stands for laser range finding. You can range find on shiny objects up to a thousand yards. And what the cool thing about this setup is it actually has a ballistic calculator. So once you put your data entry in this scope, say for instance, you're using a 5.56, you can go in there and create that. And once you create it, you put in there your, your ballistic coefficient your height from the scope to the center of the barrel, the speed and the grain bullet. And what that does is once you are zeroed at whatever you tell it, say 100 yards, and you go out there and you range find a coyote at 250 yards, you can hit that and it automatically moves your crosshair to give you the windage and also the elevation on your target. You've got multiple reticle settings. Um, you can actually build a custom reticle for your scope. So you can actually, use, I believe, an app that they will give you, and you can build a custom 
custom reticle where you wanted a mill dot or if you wanted an uh, MOA, if you want squiggly lines going this way and squiggly lines going that way, you can do that. So it gives you a lot of features. It also tells you the temperature. It has a real compass in real time to tell you which way your barrel was pointing. It gives you the barometric pressure and it also will give you the wind speed. Now, the cool thing about the compass is a lot of people are like, why in the world do I need a compass? Well, it's really a safety reason, okay? I find out when I'm hunting at night and I'm hunting with a group of people and we're lined up right and left, never in front. And you know that if you point your gun east, it is off limits, okay? So if you're following a coyote running and you're seeing in, your, in the digital scope, you see that your compass is going towards east, it reminds you not to be shooting that way. So that actually is a really good feature. Another feature that this has, it records in HD. You can also take pictures. It takes a little micro SD card right here and a class C charger will charge it up. Now they boast that this thermal will last 10 hours, okay? And a couple of nights ago, I actually tried this out west to see if they were correct. I left it on, I turned it on at eight o'clock that evening and we got back into camp about one o'clock in the morning and it still had 54%. So yeah, now granted, if you're recording, you're messing around with a lot of the features and stuff like that, you're probably gonna drain the battery a little bit more, but for just normal wear and tear, it will last about 10 hours. All right, now I'm gonna shoot a target down range. I'm gonna hit the record button and I'm gonna show you some of the zoom capabilities. I'm gonna show you how to focus it and everything like that. And I'm gonna to try to hit that four inch plate at 100 yards. Now, you may have seen my review on this rifle. This is my Franklin Armory F-17. This is chambered in 17 WSM, not HMR, but WSM. It is shooting a 20 grain projectile at around 3,000 feet per second. And I took this out west uh, with me for coyotes because I never really shot a coyote with a 17 WSM. And I'm curious um, if it was enough lead downrange and enough kinetic energy to get the job done. And I'm gonna show you here in just a few minutes, it's enough to get the job done. So, all right, let me just load up. Okay, I got five here. Let's just do some shooting. I'm sorry, neighbors, in advance, but I am shooting suppressed. And you decide to shoot suppressed on a 17 WSM, make sure your suppressor is rated for it because it's a lot of pressure. All right, so let me hit the record button here. All right, let me get it out of the out of the uh, out of the menu here. All right. All right, so now you are seeing exactly what I see. Now I think the reticle on this is called their ATN reticle. And I want to hit, I don't know if this will show up in the screen or not, but I want to hit my range finder right here. And it basically says that it is 89 yards, so basically 90 yards from my berm. And there is that four inch plate. So I'm going to zoom in. You're going to see me zoom in. Right now I'm at 5.4, 6.3, 7.3. And right there is nine power. So let me focus it a little bit here. All right, that's much clearer. All right, let me just see if I can hit that four inch plate. Can you see it just glowing out there? I hit it. You see we're actually shooting a little bit high. That dark spot on that plate shows the heat signature. So I'm gonna shoot a little bit lower. There we go. Definitely shooting a little bit high. All right, so there's five shots. So I'm gonna zoom back out here. There you go. And you can see at three power, it is very clear looking down my range. You can change all kinds of settings, whether you want white hot or black hot alarm, uh, they have several different settings on the thermal. But since I'm shooting a little bit high, I wish I could show you through the scope how to do it, but they have like a one shot sight in. So basically what it is, if you're, what I like to do is take a piece of cardboard and I put aluminum uh, foil or that aluminum tape that you would use for duct work. I would put about an inch by inch square or two inch by two inch square, set it up about 50 yards. And you take that, you make sure you got a good steady rest. You take that first shot and you're aiming for that aluminum foil because that aluminum foil is going to glow a little bit hotter than the box. So that gives you your thermal signature. 
And once you do that, if you are shooting a little bit high or a little bit low, a little bit left, a little bit right, all you do is you go into the system here and you click on, I guess it's a sighting tool or the bore, bore sighting tool that it has, and you click on it and it will give you two crosshairs. Okay, one crosshair will stay on the tape. And as you move it up and down, that other crosshair is going to go like this, wherever you move it to, up, down, left, right. So you keep one crosshair on that aluminum full and the other uh, crosshair on your impact. And once you have the other crosshair on the impact of the bullet and the other crosshair on that aluminum full, you simply pit, you know, push enter and it moves your crosshair and you're done. It is much easier to sight in than a regular scope. This optic also has Wi-Fi capabilities, so you can um, connect it with your cellular device, whether you have iOS or Android. And I will say one thing, that I have used other thermals in the past. This thermal, it's big, okay, and it is heavy. It weighs a little over three pounds, I think 3.1 pounds. There are a lot of other thermals on the market that are smaller, uh, a little bit lighter, but this one right here has the best resolution of any thermal that I have ever used. And most of the time when you're thermal hunting, you're not doing a lot of walking. You know, you set up at a spot, you put your rifle on your shooting sticks or your shooting bag, and you start making the calls, whether for coyotes or coons or whatever you're doing, and you're just sitting there. Um, so really, sometimes weight really has nothing to do with it. But if you're tracking, you know, a couple of miles a night, you may want to look at the other models that ATN provides that are a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter. All right, this is the part of my video where I want to show you guys some of my hunting footage with the ATN Thor 5. If you're not into hunting, you can fast forward to this time right here and skip me shooting raccoons and coyotes. But I do have to say one thing, ATN does make a handheld. This is called their Blaze Trek, and it is a 1.6 by 13. And what this is, is a handheld thermal. And if you've ever done any kind of thermal hunting, it can wear and tear on you for doing one thing, sitting behind this rifle, looking and scanning and scanning and scanning that will wear you out over a period of time so atn sent me this handheld thermal to use and the footage that you actually get out of this thermal handheld is pretty incredible now the resolution on it's 640 so it's half the resolution of this bad boy but what it does is allow you to pick up and scan and turn it off this also does have a zoom i think it does uh, two, four, six, and eight power zoom. And you also can take pictures and record with this also. But if you're going to take up thermal hunting, definitely get a handheld thermal. It will save your neck and your eyes a lot of pain. Okay, now let's do some hunting. Where can you find him? Where is he at? Okay, is he standing up? Yep. Good. He's down. Corn though. You may shoot it. Two fifty. There he is. There he is. How far is he? Two or one. Ready? Yep. No. Keep looking. Right in front of us, right here. Yep. 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 All right. Got him. 150 down low. Okay, I see him. You ready? Let him know. Let him know. I'll get him here. I'll get him here. 147. Take him. Well, as you can tell, it did its job when I did my job. Now there was a few misses in there, 
Um, it's kind of hectic when coyotes run in on you, but a couple of those, there's no excuse of me missing <laughs> whatsoever. But if you're looking for a thermal, you know, check this out. They are quite expensive like any thermals on the market. But I tell people all the time, buy once, cry once, because the clarity that you get with this particular uh, thermal scope, you will not be disappointed. They have a five-year warranty, and uh, you know, it's a great bang for the buck because there are more expensive thermals on the market than this ATN. When you're probably saying to yourself, well, I've had ATN products in the past, and I really didn't like them. I'll be the first one to tell you, I've used some of their uh, products probably about six years ago, um, when they first came out with the digital screen, I didn't like them. And I was kind of hesitant of using uh, this scope for a video and using it out in the field because I didn't have good luck with the previous ATN scopes six and seven years ago. This is totally different. This is by far night and day different than their older stuff. This is a new generation. I think this is their fifth gen of uh, thermals that they have out. And I think they really hit a home run. Well, guys, if you have any questions about this thermal scope, it can do a lot more than what I covered in this video. There is a list that is a mile long, and I know I didn't cover it all, but I tried to do my best. But if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep plugging.